This is the Mayo Building in Northfield. It's a four-story brick building. Uh, upper three floors are residential. There's 18 residential apartments, and the first floor is commercial and retail space. We were originally contacted because fuel usage was high. During the cold part of the winter, they would have to be, they would have an oil delivery every other day, and that would go on for weeks and weeks and weeks as long as cold weather lasted. We did an initial blower door test, analyzed the building, insulation levels and all, and just found some obvious areas where we could make a pretty big improvement without too much disruption to the building. In the beginning of the project, we thought it was relatively simple that we would just replace the 35-year-old furnaces and we would be done. 3 Thermal explained to us that that wasn't going to help us very much. That sure we'd have fewer repair bills, but we really wouldn't have saved any money on fuel at all. And so they helped us come up with a plan where we could actually save a lot of energy and uh, uh, ultimately dollars. Probably the biggest thing was the attic. There was only about seven inches of cellulose insulation and that was uneven. And the, there hadn't been any air sealing done up there. So that was all vacuumed out, cleaned out, and um, blanketed with two inches of spray foam. And then about 17, 18 inches of cellulose uh, loose blow on top of that to get R60 up there. And then we also sealed up the basement. All the rim joists were sprayed with foam as well as the foundation walls. The project isn't quite done yet, and about a month ago we did a blower door test to see where we're at, and we had already achieved more than half the reduction in air leakage that we had projected. Um, we expect to reduce it by just over 50% by the time it's all done. The archaic heating system that we had in this building was an old single line steam system. And that steam system was completely over designed for the building. And so what I'm saying is that it generated way too much heat. And so what would happen uh, is uh, in the middle of the day when the sun came out, um, the, the apartments would become way too hot. And so everybody would open their window in the middle of the winter, which made our costs go up and, and uh, put more demand on the system. And so then as a result, people in the back of the building would get cold because there wasn't enough heat to go around. And it was a vicious cycle that we just kept going through, especially in the shoulder seasons. Very frustrating and, and uh, enough to make you not want to own the property. So the recommendation was to uh, switch to pellet heat, get away from fossil fuels. Um, but that entailed the expense of replacing all the distribution because that steam, single pipe steam, can't really be converted to hot water. We were going to a hydronic hot water heating system. So all of that had to be redone as well. We'll be using far less fuel and a fuel that has a much more stable price outlook over the next 30 years. The tenants are gonna be incredibly more comfortable uh, now each unit in the building can control their heat with their own thermostats and most units have more than one thermostat so they can actually control the heat in different rooms. The building didn't really have ventilation before. It was leaky enough that everything stayed healthy, but it's a pretty expensive way to stay, to keep the air healthy. So uh, even putting bath fans into a brick building if there's none existing is an expensive proposition because of the penetrations out the walls. So in this case, we went with a whole building ventilation system that is an energy recovery system. So it recovers around 70% of the heat that's in the exhausted air is transferred back into the incoming airstream. There's a air handling unit in the attic with a main intake and exhaust going outside. And then there's ductwork through the building um, starts out in the attic and then comes down um, to all the residential units and uh, provides fresh air into bedrooms and there's a pickup in the kitchen and bathroom areas depending on the units. Um, all of that uh, goes back to the air handler in the attic where the 
energy exchange takes place. The ventilation load with exhaust only, if you're ventilating up to standard in a fairly tight building, can be 25-30% of the overall heating load. So if you can recover 70% of that, that's a significant energy savings. All indicators are that this project's going to be successful beyond what everybody projected. Uh, and I say that conservatively. Um, there are, are many little factors of this project that we never thought about in the beginning, but there are things that got accomplished along the way. And when you add everything up, it's just going to be an incredible improvement to this building. Uh, we expect to, to save at least 50% in energy costs. And as a, again, I say that conservatively. Any landowner uh, or property owner that is thinking about renovating their building, uh, they should definitely talk with 3E Thermal before they dismiss any uh, big or exorbitant ideas um, because these guys are professionals, they're educated, they're dedicated, they're passionate. I can't say enough good things about them.